What's up guys, you're watching another episode of Third Coast Fishing and today we traveled down here to the South Shore of Louisiana. We're in Grand Isle, baby. And here's a couple of spots that you can fish if you're coming down here to visit. You coming down here to fish, you coming down here to the beach with your parents, whatever, you wanna catch some fish. Well, this is the video for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and let's get into the video. Here is spot number one. All right, guys, what's up? We are out here at spot number one. Spot number one is when you first pull on the Grand Isle and you come over the bridge, you're gonna come and you're gonna make a right. You're gonna go through the little neighborhood a little bit and you are gonna park and you're gonna walk all the way back here in the pass, which is a great spot to fish. It has changed a little bit, some people say. We met a guy out here and he said it changed. You used to be able to walk out here to these rocks and fish all the rocks but you can fish everything from the jetties right here you can fish everything from the jetties right here you can come all the way around you can go all the way around that side all right guys you can come out here and fish in this gut right here you're going to be able to catch uh, some redfish you're going to catch some trout you're going to catch some whiting and you may even hook into a couple of flounder if you go more towards the this way and cast out you may catch some bull reds and you may catch some bigger trout you may catch some pompano you, you may catch some sheep's head you can also catch sheep's head right along these rocks right here all along this all the way around you can go further down that way and then you can walk across and there's land and you can get to the jetties so this is spot number one let's head on out to the next spot okay spot number two is just when you uh, are about to get onto the beach right into grand isle all you have to do is park come up here come up over these rocks all right guys once you get over the rocks you can set your little pole holders down in here and you want to cast in between the rock jetties try to stay as close to the jetties as you can it's going to be deeper there you're going to catch redfish catch some bull reds there you can catch pompano here you can catch many many species out here uh, this is a great spot to catch fish use dead shrimp or you can use live shrimp here depending on how bad the current is you could put it on a popping cork but i would think on the bottom would probably be the best here so good luck to your fishing guys this is a pretty good spot let's head to number three all right guys here is spot number three if you're trying to catch some fish you can come out here to the beach uh, you have to park on the other side of the levee and you walk over the levee come on down here and the same thing as the spot number two is fish in between the rocks you see those rocks out there you want to fish in between those it's going to be deeper and you're going to catch the same stuff you're going to catch some redfish some bull reds uh some trout sheep's head stuff like that the closer you get to the rocks you're going to catch sheep's head maybe some mangrove snapper stuff like that so you can come out here you can't drive on the beach you come out here make sure you bring a cart so you can lug all your stuff uh, that's probably the most important thing and you know just keep in mind that you got to carry everything so this is the last beach access to get onto the beach so you just come on down the road until you get to the very last beach access and this is where it's at right here all right let's go to spot number four all right guys this is spot number four you can catch mangrove snappers you can catch catfish you can catch some reds some trout here here it is so this spot is right when you're leaving the beach exit from spot number three you're just gonna go directly across the street and go down as far as you can and it's right there at the very end of the road all right here you're going to want to fish with a carolina rig or a popping cork and if you're fishing with a carolina rig you want to go as far as you can and if you're fishing up close go ahead and pop it on that popping cork and you'll catch some mangrove snappers and some trout right up against these rocks sheep's head maybe too i didn't see any signs that say private or no fishing so i'm assuming it's okay to fish here we fish here for i don't know probably about two hours and nobody said anything there was a lot of people passing on carts and stuff like that so I think it's a, it's a thumbs up here. All right, guys, that's spot number four. We're gonna go ahead and head on down to spot number five. All right, guys, here's the fifth and final spot right here. 
all these mangrove creeks they're great for fishing you can catch mangrove snapper here you can catch some redfish some trout you can catch uh, sheep's head flounder all that stuff right in here it leads out into the bay all up and down the whole road that you came in and going out on you can fish both sides all right well that's our final spot don't forget to hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time peace